Pratima and welcome back to Experimental Physiology series. So far we have studied effects of acetylcholine and adrenaline on frog's heart. Today we will explore effect of nicotine on the heart. Let's start with the question. What is nicotine and why is it important to study its effects? Pause the video, think about it and then resume. Yes, nicotine is a naturally occurring alkaloid found in tobacco. According to WHO data, approximately 22% of the global population consumes tobacco in some or other form. Tobacco use is responsible for over 8 million deaths annually, including 1.3 million non-smokers who suffer due to passive smoke exposure. Historically, tobacco use dates back over a thousand years. But nicotine was isolated in 19th century. By the mid 20th century, scientific studies firmly established its link to cardiovascular diseases, cancer and other health risks, leading to strict regulations and anti-smoking campaigns. In today's experiment, we will analyze how nicotine affects frog's heart offering insights into its autonomic regulation and clinical implications. As always, we will first observe the procedure for recording the effect of nicotine, then analyze the graph and study its mechanism of action, and finally discuss the clinical applications of this knowledge. Before proceeding, please take a moment to read disclaimer. These experiments were recorded nearly 18 years ago for academic purposes only. For this experiment, electrical circuit is set up with Niff's hammer in primary circuit to stimulate vagus nerve and crescent both before and after nicotine administration. As usual, heart and both vagi are carefully dissected and confirmed. The preparation is then mounted and heart is attached to the lever. A normal cardiogram is recorded for sufficient duration. The vagus nerve is briefly stimulated, causing the heart to stop momentarily in diastole. Once the heart resumes beating, the crescent is stimulated, again stopping the heart in diastole and recovered gradually. Now, few drops of dilute nicotine are added to the ventricle using a dropper. Observe that heart rate and force of contraction has decreased. After recording this effect, the vagus is stimulated again, but this time heart does not stop. So as you can note from this EMTM tracing, despite vagal stimulation, heart does not stop. When crescent is stimulated, heart stops in diastole followed by recovery. So this completes the recording part. Here is the ideal tracing from this experiment and the key observations are Nicotine decreases heart rate and force of contraction. After application of nicotine, vagal stimulation fails to stop the heart. However, crescent stimulation still stops the heart in diastole. So why does this happen? Before nicotine application, vagal stimulation stopped the heart. but after nicotine, it did not, yet the response to crescent stimulation remained unchanged. This suggests that nicotine acted somewhere between the vagus and the crescent. Pause the video here and recall the basics of parasympathetic innervation. If needed, refer to my earlier video on nervous regulation of frog's heart. Link is in the description below. Okay. The autonomic nervous system is two neuronal chain and has 
प्री गैंगलियोनिक फाइबर एंड पोस्ट गैंगलियोनिक फाइबर वेगस ओरिजिनेट्स फ्रॉम डॉर्सल मोटर न्यूक्लियस ऑफ वेगस इन मेड्यूला इट हैज प्री गैंगलियोनिक पैरासिंपथेटिक फाइबर्स विच टर्मिनेट इन ऑटोनोमिक गैंगलिया इन फ्रॉग्स हार्ट द गैंगलियन इज लोकेटेड विद इन द क्रिसेंट द पोस्ट गैंगलियोनिक फाइबर्स आर राइजिंग फ्रॉम द गैंगलियन इनर्वेट द कार्डियक मसल सो वेन वी स्टिम्युलेट वेगस वी एक्टिवेट प्री गैंगलियोनिक फाइबर्स and these fibers release acetylcholine at autonomic ganglion this acetylcholine then stimulates post ganglionic fibers which release acetylcholine on the heart leading to its inhibition but when we stimulate the crescent we directly activate post ganglionic fibers which release acetylcholine on the heart and inhibits it so between the vagus and crescent lies autonomic ganglion and nicotin acts on it before we discuss further the mechanism of action of nicotine try to recall on which receptors do nicotin act and where are they found yes nicotine acts on nicotinic receptors there are of two types muscle type and neuronal type muscle type nicotinic receptors are abbreviated as nm and are found in motor end plate whereas neuronal type nicotinic receptors that is nn receptors are present in the autonomic ganglia adrenal medulla and central nervous system binding of nicotine with nicotinic receptors open the ligand gated sodium channels leading to sodium influx this generates action potential in the post ganglionic fibers as the impulses reach the nerve terminal they cause release of acetylcholine at the cardiac muscle now this acetylcholine acts on muscarinic receptors on the heart leading to decrease in heart rate and force of contraction this is initial stimulatory action of nicotine leading to decrease in heart rate and force of contraction however with prolonged exposure nicotine keeps the nicotinic receptor activated for longer duration as a result sodium influx continues and the ganglion fails to repolarize this is called as persistent depolarization now when we stimulate vagus after the addition of nicotine we are activating preganglionic fibers they release acetylcholine at the ganglion but since the receptors are already in active state no signal is transmitted to postganglionic fibers and the heart does not stop despite the vagal stimulation in contrast when we stimulate crescent we directly activate the post ganglionic fibers bypassing the blocked ganglion this leads to release of acetylcholine at the heart allowing it to stop thus persistent depolarization of autonomic ganglia explains why the heart does not respond to vagal stimulation but still stops with the crescent stimulation after application of nicotine okay during examination if you get any graph to identify the unknown drug used in the experiment first observe what is its effect whether heart rate and force of contraction has increased or decreased after the drug if it is increased it can be either adrenaline or atropine I have already discussed how to differentiate these two effects in my previous video and the link is provided in the description below. But if the drug has exerted inhibitory effects that is decrease in heart rate and force of contraction then it could be acetylcholine or nicotine. To differentiate them now observe whether heart has stopped in response to the vagus. If yes the drug is acetylcholine but if no the drug used is nicotine before winding up the session let's study some clinical applications of this knowledge particularly in understanding cardiovascular physiology pharmacology and toxicology related with nicotine so this experiment provides valuable insights into nicotine's effect on human heart nicotine initially slows the heart but later causes tachycardia a mechanism seen in chronic smokers and nicotine users 
Chronic nicotine exposure contributes to hypertension, arrhythmias, and increased cardiovascular risk. Understanding vagal control and smoking-related disorders help in developing treatment for smoking-related cardiac dysfunctions. Next, this experiment demonstrates nicotine's biphasic effect, which is crucial for diagnosing and managing nicotine poisoning. This knowledge also helps in designing safer nicotine replacement therapies to minimize cardiovascular risk. And finally, nicotine stimulatory and then desensitizing action is very similar to the ganglionic blockers like hexamethonium, which were historically used for treatment of severe hypertension. Thus, this experiment bridges the basic physiology with clinical medicine, reinforcing the importance of understanding nicotine's autonomic effect in cardiovascular health, smoking cessation, and toxicology. Before we conclude, here's the question for you. How does nicotine cause tachycardia in chronic smokers? How does it activate sympathetic system? Hint here is, recall the types of nicotinic receptors and also the concept of intrinsic heart rate. By correlating with this, you will get the answers. Share your answers in the comment section. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. If you enjoy my presentations, press the like button and share it with your friends. For more such videos, subscribe my channel and click the bell icon. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.